Hello, dear humans. What is up? It is, uh, I don't know, Friday at Blue Tile. Another look at some new footwear. This is that Adidas video that I told you was coming last week. And then it didn't come because I got um, sick. Yep. So anyway, um, this is it. I wanted to take a good look at the new Forum 84 that we just got in. The Forum 84 Low ADV. I think the ADV is more important than I ever put stock into because I also ordered some forums from the Adidas website that were not Skate Adidas and the difference is insane. Maybe not visually, but when you put them on your feet, the difference is so much crazier. So we're going to compare those shoes and uh, look at some other Adidas that we got on the website, bluetilesc.com already it's already there usually i try to get these videos up before the shoes are in stock or on the website so i can kind of give you a release date and let you know when they're going to be there um i've been i've been way behind we have so much new product in if you haven't checked out the new website please do so bluetilesc.com we got so many boards it's insane so many boards from fa hockey frog April, tons of new April boards, uh, tons of new deluxe stuff. We got Spitfires, Thunders, Ventures, so much new stuff in this week. It's been crazy. So check out the new website. Irving's been working super hard on the new website, but I don't know where to start this. Maybe first we'll look at the skate, uh, the Forum 84 Low ADV, and then um, I'll pull out some of the other forums to compare it to that shoe and we'll just put them side by side so here we go let's just go ahead bust this guy open here's the adidas box there's your style number and all that good stuff i think it's funny i get some comments below um somebody just recently posted on my p-rod video he's like fake shoes or something and i'm just like people don't realize that, that i own a business like i have accounts with all these companies um Blue Tile is my business. Um, in regards to the SB line, uh, we are one of the oldest SB accounts on the East Coast. I think at the time, we were the fourth oldest account on the East Coast. People used to drive from like as far as DC and Florida to get shoes from us when we first got our Nike SB account. Um, since then, there's a lot more accounts that is tapering back again, as I talked about in my last video. But um, the accounts that existed then, a lot of those have closed. So we've outlived a lot of the original SB accounts. I wouldn't doubt it if uh, us and Supreme are the oldest East Coast accounts for Nike SB. Don't, don't, you know, don't hold me to that. I don't know for sure, but we definitely have some some time under our belts with the SB stuff. And we were first in line for this um, Adidas skateboarding as well. So there you go. So that's just a little history. Um, I, it's always blown, it blows me away when people are like, where'd you get those shoes? I got them from Adidas because I have an account with Adidas. Some of the stuff that isn't skateboarding, I order for myself for various reasons. And then I show it to you for those reasons. So. Let's get into it right now. I've really taken a super close look at th this particular white low. We did have a different white low in that had like a, a suede toe on it. This one has a full leather toe on it. Here, let me tuck those laces back in. I don't know why I pulled those out, but there you go. This one's just got like a little blue hit right there. I like the, the antique or look kind of cream it's kind of like an antiquing added to the sole. It just kind of makes it look, gives it that vintage vibe. So I like the way that looks. Um, there's your Adidas trefoil logo on there. We just got this little netting on the inside of the shoe. And I've covered that netting before. Um, apparently it runs throughout. I don't know for sure, but the netting is supposed to, to create stability within that, that foam so that it doesn't, um, I don't know, so that it doesn't blow out. So anyway, it gives it a little bit more rebound and uh, doesn't blow out as easily, so they say. So 
as you guys can see, check out, I want you to look at all these details. You can see how clean this line is right here. That is different on some of the other forums. I do like this like asymmetrical pattern across the heel. That's always really cool. I love the forum, and if you remember from my first look at the forum low um, a couple months back or several months back, um, it was one of the most comfortable shoes that I've put on my foot in a long time, and I, and I still stick to that with the skate, with the ADV forum lows. It's one of the most comfortable shoes I have put on my foot, and I really dig them a lot. It's just comfortable, man. There, there's a lot, a lot of support in this shoe, and it just feels good on foot. And the whole debate, is it true to size? I think it is. I think it's more true to size than most things, but everyone has a different idea of what true to size is. If everyone, if you're wearing dunks all the time and you think an 11 is true to size on your foot, I'm gonna say that thing's tight as hell because to me, dunks run really small. Some people use a dunk as a measurement for what's true to size. Um, I think these are true to size. I wear an 11 and a half and I get these in 11 and a half. So there you go. There's your gum sole. Um, I'm not sure what material they're using here or if this is just painted. Um, usually when there's an exposed color right there, it is, um, it is kind of a, a, a less dense foam for padding. Just like this, this is usually harder so that it um, so that it wears longer so that you don't get a bald spot right there from like wiggling your foot in place on the court or on your grip tape so originally designed for basketball um, or tennis but works great for skateboarding as well um, actually a lot of endemic skate brands have adopted this harder rubber right there on the um, bottom of the sole. This looks like it could be just painted, but that's the idea behind that. Um, let's let's pull the insole out. I don't really look at the insoles in Adidas very much. I don't know if you can. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So yeah, not much to the insole on these things. Very thin. Um, probably ortholite. That's what everybody's using these days. Adidas insole. Super simple. Um, I don't know what is different on the midsole, but I will tell you when I put this shoe on, it just feels way more padded and way more secure than the general release forums do. That is the first forum I wanted you to look at. Here's the standard forum low. I got these for myself um, because of this, really, the end plastic waste. Um, this is pretty cool. This product is made with recycled content as part of our ambition to end plastic waste. Dude, I'm all about the crazy, you know, sustainable stuff. I know it seems like a small difference, but any small difference I can make, I try to make. But anyway, here is this one. This one I was kind of ho had high hopes for. Um, it was, it's kind of a crazy color. It's got that McDonald's vibe to it but I was going to paint them. Um, this strap is removable on this guy right here. So let's put these side by side. I don't know if you can tell by looking. Can you tell just by looking at the toes? Can you tell the difference in materials? I mean, I know these are recycled materials, but I don't think the leather is a recycled product. I think it's all the plastic and all the other stuff. You can definitely tell a significant difference in not just the the materials, but look at the difference in the sole and how, how much that sticks out. So when I put these on, it just felt like I was standing on concrete. The, the rubber of the sole feels super hard. Let's see if it sounds the same. Oh, do you hear the difference? Listen to that. This rubber is way harder, which may make it last longer just for wearing around the city or whatever. But 
for skateboarding you need grip and these grip so much better but also it just adds more comfort when that rubber is soft and I appreciate this a lot more than uh, the rubber in on the bottom of these things and uh, anyway here's another detail that's kind of cool a little different from the other one and it's got that like jersey mesh on the on the tongue which is kind of cool for breathability or just aesthetics it's kind of sick trefoil logo there like I said removable strap it's also got that jersey material on the inside right there so I did think these were pretty cool shoes but I'm gonna send them back because the they're just not comfortable they're not as comfortable as the skate ones um, the insole of these is not removable so I can't pull it out um, I don't know like I said I don't know if the midsole is different in these things but when you put it on your foot it just feels harder inside it's not as padded and it's beyond the padding it just feels like a, a clunkier shoe which is not going to be good for skateboarding so there you go that's the first one that I that I tried to uh, step into as far as like a skate dunk or skate dunk a skate forum just tried to change it up and get something a little more sustainable and responsible um, maybe I should have just stuck with the ones that I have in my own store so let me know what you guys think of this one look at that crazy strap I took the strap off when I tried them on but uh, by far this thing I mean just look at it if you could feel the difference too Man, the skate versions of Chuck Taylors are so much different than regular Chuck Chucks. So try those. If you've never tried a Chuck Taylor skate, you should try one. It's like a thousand times more comfortable than a regular Chuck Taylor. So let's let's bust out this third forum. This is the forum exhibit low, which it's just got some extra details. Um, it, does have the strap as well. I don't. I didn't take it off, so I think it's just got the loops for the strap, but it's not in the box. So um, again, this one was a recycled story, all recycled materials. Remember, I told you to look at the the, um, the stitch lines on the other ones, how clean it was. They're leaving these extra these extra little dangly parts of of leather on this shoe to kind of, I guess it's a, it's an aesthetic vibe that I'm, I'm kind of over. I don't want extra little bits of like split materials and crazy little tabs just hanging out of things. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it's overkill. You know, like this isn't so bad with the split materials on the toe. Um, I don't know. I think this shoe is pretty cool. But overall, it's just not as comfortable as the skate forum. Let's, let's see if this one has a, again, I can't pull the insole out of this one. You can kind of see what it looks like in there. Again, with the, hard, the harder rubber sole. Um, and maybe I'm wrong. Skateboarders have weird, crazy mental blocks with shoes and boards and everything else. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it just feels different, but it definitely feels different. So, but again, look at this. All this extra material. I just I'm not vibing with it. I don't know. Um, this is another thing. Do we need this little extra piece of rubber right here? I don't think so. But it's there. Whatever. So that's it. That's a look at the forums. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot to this individual um, insole, but it is way more comfortable than what comes with the forum naturally. So if you're looking at forums, try the skate ones. We have a few of these left. They went on sale like last week, I think we put them in the store. So there's not a lot left. These things go really quickly. So check it out, bluetilesc.com. I'll be right back and I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that we got in by Adidas and uh, I hope you like it. So I'll be right back. So any, this, um, this new Tyshawn is pretty sick. We've all seen the Tyshawn mid. Um, this all black with white 
definitely looks super premium. Got that gold tree foil logo. There's your sole on this guy. Dude, the Taishan does super well for us. Just going to do a quick look at these because we've looked at Taishans before, um, but these are just new colors. And this is definitely like, I don't know, one of the sickest ones to come out. We've got a few other ones, just like a few sizes left of some of the other ones, but how sick is this shoe? Pretty epic. So anyway, so that is a quick look at the new Taishan. We just got this week available on our new website, NewTileSC.com. This is another one, another indoor soccer inspired shoe. And there you go. I thought this colorway is super sick. Vibrant green. Adidas on the heel there. I think this shoe looks pretty rad. I'm sorry it's kind of, huh, it's football laced. You know when people lace their shoes too tight? Looks crazy. That's how these came in the box. So, gum sole. Kind of an indoor soccer tread, but great for skateboarding. Everyone that's gotten this shoe loves it. I don't know. You can check out these little channels in the, in the sole that help it flex better. That's always nice for skateboarding. Another black shoe. What do you guys think? Do you like black or do you like color? in your shoes um, because the next one's pretty colorful so um, that is the Copa Nationale and then this is probably my favorite the Lucas Quag is probably one of the best skate shoes to hit the market in a long time here is the new Lucas Quag colorway that's been on our website for a good week or so um, tons of cool color color changes. I love how the the stripes are, are a split of different colors there. So I don't know. And then you got that off white or kind of gray suede on the toe and wrapping around the heel. I just noticed the inside of the tongue, kind of like a pink seersucker. Pretty sick. Insole looks cool. The brand three stripes. Boom. Pretty awesome. That's just a quick look, guys. I wasn't going to get too into detail with this thing, but I love, I love this play. What do you guys think? So, again, quick look at this. Um, this, this sole is literally, I barely have to twist it. It's so flexible. Um, Zach Gillespie has been skating in these a lot. If you watch our social media or the Progress Daily channel, you see Zach skating a lot. He's skating these. It's one of his favorite shoes, so... Anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I might hit 8K pretty soon. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty hyped on that. So, yeah, help me out. Uh, help the algorithm, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching um, this Adidas video. All the best. Love, Blue Tile. Ta